Hello YouTube family, Leanna here. This morning we are going to go step by step through my whole morning skincare routine. I'll show you what products I use, how I use them, and tell you why I chose them. There are a lot of skincare products on the market. And choosing which products to add to your skincare routine can be extremely confusing. I have spent a lot of time researching different products and watching other people's skincare routines. And I hope that this video will shed some light on the subject and help you with your own skincare journey. Because it truly is a journey. And at the end of the day, we need to find skincare products that work with our skin type and the issues that we need to correct or to avoid. And I have some advice from my younger YouTube friends. Signs of aging are easier to prevent than they are to repair. If you don't have a skincare routine, start now. <laughs> don't wait because I'm starting my skincare routine late in life. I can't make all the issues go away. I can make them better, but I wouldn't be where I am now had I started my skincare routine a lot younger. I'm 56 years old, and here's my morning skincare routine. The first question I asked myself when I got into this whole skincare routine, which was about a year ago, was what order do I need to put these products on in? Apparently, you can't just slather stuff all over your face willy-nilly. Who knew? This is called layering in the skincare community. How you layer your products on your skin is important because depending on what the product is, it can block the product that you're going to put on behind it. For example, if you're going to use any type of oil on your skin, if you layer that oil on your skin first, it's going to block the absorption of anything you put on behind it. If you put a serum or a moisturizer on, on top of an oil, it's just gonna lay on top of that oil and your skin will not be able to absorb it. The oil is now a barrier between the serum and the moisturizer and your skin. So how you layer your products is very important. As I go through each product and talk to you about it, I'm going to do it in the order that it needs to be in. There's a lot of information on the internet about how to layer your products. I will put a link in the description to an article so that you can read up on it. This website, it's Derma Store, I believe, also has a really good infographic to kind of give you a visual as to how this should be done. So I took a shower this morning. You're welcome. And I cleansed my face with my CeraVe Foaming Cleanser. If I shower the night before, when I get up in the morning, I just rinse my face with some warm water. I don't clean it again. I use CeraVe because it has three essential ceramides that will cleanse and remove oils without disrupting my skin barrier or leave my skin feeling stripped of all of its natural moisture. It also has hyaluronic acid in it, which is really good for helping your face to retain moisture. They also make a non-foaming cleanser, but I just don't feel like I'm clean unless there's foam involved. <laughs> I also shaved my face this morning, which I did a video on, and I'll link that up here in the iCard, wherever the iCard will end up being, somewhere. <laughs> First, I'm going to pull back my hair because all of these serums and potions and stuff are really good for my skin. They're not necessarily really good for my hair. You should always start your routine with hydrated skin. So I like to use rose water to do that. You can use just regular water. You can either put it on your hands and just pat it on your face to get your face damp, or you can get one of those little misters and mist your face with it. You do not need Evian facial water. You can just use any regular water or even a, a cheap mineral water if you don't want to use tap water. I like to use the rose water because it is a natural toner for my skin. You want your face damp, not dripping wet. If your skin is hydrated, it helps to absorb 
your serums. And I'm using the uh, Baja Basics 100% Pure Organic Rose Water. It's all natural and it doesn't have any preservatives or anything in it. And it smells so good. It just makes me feel like I'm really pampering myself when I use that. It's very, very bougie. I like to start with my eye cream and give that a bit to sink into my skin. I am currently using QMS Intensive Eye Cream. It's expensive coming in at $140 on their website. It was in one of my BoxyCharm boxes or I wouldn't have it. When it runs out, I will be on the hunt for something affordable. I just like to tap it gently into my skin so that I'm not rubbing and pulling and tugging at the skin around my eye area. That skin is very, very delicate. Next, I use the Ordinary Caffeine Solution. It's 5% caffeine with the EGCG in it. I'm not even going to try to tell you what that stands for because I'm not real sure that that's in English. But it comes from green tea leaves. This helps with the pigmentation in the eye contour area and it also helps with puffiness. It is a very thick serum and I just take a little bit and drop it right under the eye. There's just a little bit there. I don't need a whole lot. And then just like the eye cream, I just pat that around the eye area, making sure to get it in the corners because I have really dark inner eye corners. There are a lot of people who use that all over the face and they say that they're getting really good results with the fine lines and wrinkles on their face. I haven't tested this out yet, but I plan to. The next step in my routine is my vitamin C serum. This is Clean Skin Club Vitamin C Brightening Booster. It has watermelon, green tea, and pineapple in it. Vitamin C has antioxidants and anti-aging properties. It makes your skin look brighter and can reduce fine lines and wrinkles and also reduces hyperpigmentation to help you have an even skin tone. So I just take about a quarter of a dropper and place it right into my hand, rub my hands together, and then just pat that into my skin and onto my neck because I do have some hyperpigmentation happening on my neck area. And then whatever's left, I will rub onto the backs of my hands. I learned that trick from Kimberly at Pretty Over 50. You can look her up. She has a lot of really good videos. I really do believe that the vitamin C serum is helping with my hyperpigmentation because <laughs> the other day I was putting my makeup on and I thought to myself, my skin looks really pale. I was wondering if I was coming down with something, but I believe it's the vitamin C serum doing its job because I don't know if you can see here around my hairline, right in here, there are some little patches there that are still kind of dark, but they were really, really dark and they're really starting to fade now. So, and I'm watching um, these patches here on my neck and I have another patch right here to see how the vitamin C serum helps with that. This is also considered a booster, so you can actually add it to your moisturizer if you want to give your moisturizer a little boost to help your skin. It also helps to protect from sun damage, and this has pineapple enzymes in it, which breaks down the dead skin cell, watermelon extract to stimulate collagen, and the green tea is to help with your pores. Who knew maybe we should just rub food all over our face? sure would be a whole lot cheaper. Next, I use niacinamide from The Ordinary, which is a vitamin B serum, vitamin B3 to be specific. This is 10% niacinamide 
and 1% zinc. It supports the skin barrier, increases resiliency, improves texture, makes your pores look smaller, and helps to balance oil production. If you have really oily skin, you can just put this on the areas of your face that are oily or just in your T-zone, but I prefer to put it all over my face because of the benefits. Again, I take about a quarter of the dropper, place it in my hand, now I let my vitamin C serum kind of sink in a little bit before I do this. And I just rub my hands together and pat this into my skin <laughs> and down my neck and on the backs of my hands as well. There are some reports that there is a conflict between vitamin C and niacinamide, but the newer studies are proving that to be untrue. I use them together and I have no issues. The next item in my morning skincare routine is the Buffet from The Ordinary. It is a peptide and peptides are amino acids that make up certain proteins that are needed by the skin. Adding a peptide to your routine can help your skin make collagen, which improves the skin's elast elasticity. <laughs> Doesn't help with your speech at all, but it'll help the elasticity in your skin. Collagen is what keeps our skin from sagging and helps us to have that youthful glow. It also makes your skin look very plump and healthy. I also take a collagen supplement every day. I will link that down in the description box below if you're interested. It's good for your skin, your nails, and your hair. And I apply the same amount. About a quarter of a dropper full in my hand, rub my hand together, and then pat that into the skin and down my neck. And with the rest, I put it on the backs of my hands. Now you can think about the, the peptides as like a messenger to tell your cells that they need to produce the collagen and the elastin to help keep your skin firm. It also helps with fine lines and wrinkles. I love the Ordinary products. Uh, the Niacinamide and the Buffet are my top favorites. And now we are finally at Moisturizer. I love this L'Oreal Collagen Moisture Filler. It is extremely hydrating. It can be used both day and night. I choose to use it in the morning. I use something else different at night and I will do a video about my PM routine. I use about this much and just put it on my face. It feels so good. And it has a very fresh light smell to it. With the collagen being in it, it's supposed to help like plump up your skin. It is one of my favorite moisturizers and I take what's left on my hands and rub it on the backs of my hands. Once I do all of those things, my under eye area just doesn't look as crepey because your skin looks really crepey and unhealthy when it's dry. So having the moisture filler just really kind of helps plump up your skin and give it that healthy glow. I really do like it. The next step in any good morning routine is going to be your sunscreen. I am not leaving the house today. Today is my day off. I will probably spend the day in my PJs, but you need to put on a good sunscreen and you can put that on under your makeup. I'm still looking for a really good sunscreen that I like. I don't like that white cast that they will leave on your skin. If you are using a good sunscreen that you would recommend, leave it down in the comments and I will try it out. But this would be your next step in your skincare routine. Do you have a morning skincare routine? If you do, let me know down in the comments any products that you might be using that I have not talked about so that I can look at those and see if it's something that I'd like to incorporate into my own morning skincare routine. In any good skincare routine, consistency is key. It can take weeks, months, or even a year or more to see solid results. You've got to stick with it. Don't get discouraged. Something is better than nothing. 
Other things to consider are sleep, diet, and water intake. You know if you do not get a good night of quality sleep that when you get up in the morning you have all of these puffy under eye bags. Your diet has a very big impact on your skin. And of course, drinking enough, but not too much, water to keep your skin hydrated. Water is very important, as we all know. I truly hope that I was able to help you some with the skincare confusion. The most important thing is to start somewhere, even if it's just with a good moisturizer, and slowly build from there. And it's never too early to start. Are you in your 20s? Start now. Do you have a teenage daughter? Get her started now. <laughs> and this is not just for the ladies. Men need good skincare routines too. So if you have a husband or a boyfriend or a son, get them on board as well. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch my video. If you're new around here, my name is Leanna. If you enjoyed this video or if it was helpful to you, give it a thumbs up and I sure hope that you'll consider subscribing and hit that notification bell so you get a notification every time I upload a new video. And I'd like to remind you that makeup is meant to enhance the beauty that you already are and we are all beautiful at any age. I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye. Christopher, your beauty tip this time is you need to shave, son. Have you looked? What is all of that stuff you got all over your face? You cannot do a really good skincare routine through all that hair. Shave that stuff off. Where is it smooth baby face that I love so much? Mama loves you, boo.